When people look at me and know that I'm an IVF kid, I hope they see a person. I hope they see a human being just like anyone else. You get so many, like, she's not made the natural world, she shouldn't even be here. But I'm not a sign experiment. I am not synthetics. I am a real human being. I am just as real as you are. Well, my upbringing was a little bit different than anyone else. My, I had a mom who back in the day was gay, obviously, and it's not as easy to just, whoops, all of a sudden be pregnant and have a child that way. But from the moment she was a kid, from the moment she knew about kids, she wanted to be a mom. So in Denmark in 92, there was this newsletter for the whole LGBTQ community. And my mom just put an ad in there and was like, I want to bring a kid into this world. Does anyone to be part of that? She got a few replies. And the first one actually turned out to be my dad. And nine months later, I was out. My dad at that point was about to get married to his husband. I didn't like the term stepmom or stepdad because I'd always felt like something bad from the like Disney movies. So we, we came up with our own word and called it bonus mom. For me, I grew up with that. I grew up with a mom and a dad and a bonus set of parents. So I distinctly knew who was what, but I just had more people in my life than normally you would. My brother definitely got my mom's eyes and I definitely have my dad's. The hair is like a huge mixture for me of my mom and my dad, but you get so much more than just your looks. The sense of fashion, like the competitor spirit and never giving up, that is what you get from real family. Looking back at my childhood, as a kid, I didn't thought it was that different. My parents were super open about it. There was no hiding shame. They're like, this is who we are. Until I started school and people told me it was different and told me it was weird. I was such a proud kid growing up, so no kid ever really bullied me. It wasn't until I actually started traveling as a model and I honestly realized how non-accepted the rest of the world is. Social media is what gets really hard with the hate. It's, it's the one place where people can say whatever they want with no consequence. You get so many like, that's disgusting, that's gross, like that I feel bad for you, oh my God, I can't even believe it. Like it comes from a place I don't understand. And what is hard with about the internet and what's hard with about social media is I can't talk back. When you get the opportunity to have a platform, I feel like it's your obligation to use it. So telling my family story, I can give back to having such an amazing childhood. I feel very blessed that I was born into a family that learned and taught me to be so open. Because for me, the fundamental of every childhood should be and is love. And my parents had so much to give.